Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Deanna and you're watching Orchid. So today I'm going to be picking the winners of my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. And even though I'm sure you're all excited for me to announce the winners, I just wanted to show you guys a few things before we go inside. Here is Elsie Ida Elizabeth Enchanting, still in bloom. She just smells absolutely delicious. It's just such a strongly fragrant cat layer. Also, I'm doing a big decluttering of my orchid supplies. Holy moly. This was inspired by the orchid arsenal videos that I was tagged in by Annabelle from the orchid room. And I was just like, damn, I don't even know where half my stuff is anymore. So anyway, you know when you start something and half a day later, it kind of all still looks the same. Yeah, that's where I am right now. So I just needed a bit of a distraction. Anyway, now before we pick the winners, I wanted to show you some plants from Gabrielle. You guys might remember my 100th video anniversary orchid haul and those plants I got from Gabrielle as well. So um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll just link it up in the corner now. But the main reason I actually got this haul was because I wanted one specific plant. Then I just happened to tag along the others as you do. But the plant I really wanted was this one in the corner here. And that is an Ancelia Africana. This is a species orchid. It's actually the only species in the Ancelia genus. Um, and it's also known as the leopard orchid because of the pattern on its flowers. It is just such a beautiful, big established plant. So I couldn't pass it up. Anyway, I have read that it's very hardy um, and that it needs quite high light. And that's about all I really know about it. I kind of thought it might be like the speciosum, but you know, African, uh, apparently it can handle hot conditions and cold conditions it just needs that light basically to bloom i also kind of love those skinny trash basket roots that it produces so along with that i also tagged on a few others like this blc yellow bird variation rothwell you can see that this is a mature plant previously flowered and it's just coming out with a new sheath now so maybe i will get to see flowers before i repot it down here is a younger Brassavola hybrid. This is BL Morning Glory. Looks like it's got some nice roots in there, but I think not quite flowering size yet, maybe. Just behind that one here, I've got Renanthera Amayani, which is Monochica crossed with Citrina. Honestly, I just really want a mature Monochica, but I finally found a seedling last year and it's just still so tiny. I've got ages before it even flowers. So I got this cross from Gabrielle, which is a more mature plant. Uh, I'm not sure. It probably still has a little way to go, I think, before it flowers. But Renanthras all have this beautiful, typical bloom shape that I love. I've just never had one in flower yet. So hopefully this one's well on its way. It's this little one. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, cutie. Of course, Frankie wants to get in on the action here. Finally, back up here, we've got Miltonia Seminole Blood. So Gabrielle's husband actually dropped these plants off to my house. So before she sent them down, she offered a few flowering plants. And actually, she didn't offer this one. It just happened to be in the corner of a picture of a flowering catacetum. And it caught my eye, so she sold it to me. Um, I don't actually have any other pure Miltonia, would you believe? Like I bought a Mil Miltonia Spectabilis once. Uh, which was a division from wolf orchids i believe but it just never established for me and it didn't last very long anyway there's just something very attractive to me about these blooms like the color and the lip i just really like this miltonia and i have one more adorable purchase to show you this is epidendrum porpax it's a south american species i think it's from maybe colombia or venezuela maybe both also it is known as the epidendrum peperomia clearly a miniature but it is really very very cute it kind of has this rambling growth habit a bit so i think it does better mounted i've seen on google most of them are mounted but it will just have to stay potted with me you can see they develop these pseudobulbs very similar to the reed stem epidendrums uh, but just tiny and kind of look a bit more succulent Anyhow, the flowers are just so cute and sweet on this. I couldn't resist. You can see a little flower spike emerging from that growth there. But yeah, um, I think it's an intermediate grower um, and overall fairly hardy, but we'll see. All right, well, now it's time to get to the exciting part and go inside and draw the winners of the competition. 
So I thought it might be fun if you guys could come along for the ride. Um, I'm basically just using this uh, pick a comment website to randomly pick the comments for the winners. Um, some people did just comment and leave like a lovely congratulations but didn't necessarily enter so if they got picked I will edit them out but this is also why I wanted the Aussies who wanted to enter both a live draw and the gift voucher draw to specify which competition they were wanting to enter for. Anyhow I will draw in the order of third then second then first place and the first comment that happens to be picked out for the Aussie live plant draw will win that. So shall we begin? Okay, everyone ready? So third place, receiving a gift voucher for the equivalent of 30 Australian dollars goes to Melissa Smith. Congratulations, Melissa. I'll be in touch with you in the comment section shortly. And second place, getting a $50 gift voucher for the nursery of your choice is Ange Moss. Congratulations, Ange getting a $50 gift voucher to get more orchids and first place getting an $80 gift voucher is Sedge congratulations Sedge all right and we do have one more winner to draw out so I'm just gonna keep rolling until I get an Australian live plant competition entry and finally, the winner of the Australian plant giveaway is Aaron Lister from right here in Brizzy. Well, that was kind of fun, you guys. I hope you had as much fun as I did anyway. So congratulations to the winners and thank you to all of you who subscribed to my channel and thank you for entering. I will pop a reply comment on the entries for the winners with some contact details and we'll just take it from there. And I kind of just wanted to end the video with one of my dendrobiums which is just completely outdoing itself. This is my lovely dendrobium little green apples which is just the den that keeps on giving. It's a Latoria type dendrobium and I did do a feature video on the Latorias last year which I'll link. But this is just becoming such a big, beautiful, healthy plant. So I just wanted to end this video and show you this plant. It's currently got, I think, seven spikes at the moment, plus a couple of little growths down there, as you can see. Um, it's just a really easy going plant. So I think if you happen to come across one, I completely recommend it. Anyhow, congratulations again to Sedge, Ange, Melissa and Aaron. Hope everyone's staying safe and happy growing until I see you next time. Bye.